Are you ready? That was a good, solid, workmanlike effort for us tonight. I was very proud of how we defended. First half, we had one turnover. You win when you do that. Uh, we, uh, we talked about defending and said three things in order. Defend the three. Don't give them open three. We were great in the first half. We were not particularly good in the second half, but we were great in the first half of taking away good, clean three-point looks. Uh, second half, they made seven out of ten. I thought we guarded some of them, but they can shoot the ball. They can shoot the ball. And then take away dribble drive and post up. And we did that the whole game. So we did what we, whatever I thought we should do, and we did what uh, we knew we had to do to win. And proud of our effort. Uh, had a lot of contributions from guys uh, not just the starters, I thought Tyrone came in and played as well as he's played all season. And we were steady from the tip to the finish. Anything? Coach, I remember a game maybe last year against Wyoming where you held the team scoreless almost for the first half of the first half. But just talk about that defensive effort, 9 minutes, 45 seconds, scoreless. Last year we held Wild, or, uh, Air Force here to a arena record 34 points. They only scored 34 points against us. Uh, we did a nice job of not giving them easy stuff. Their first basket came off of a long rebound and a putback by Washington. Uh, we didn't give them any of those kinds of looks. Uh, for, I didn't realize it was that long. Uh, when you make it hard for people to score, sometimes that can happen. And droughts occur for everybody, more so on the road than at home. And they're a team. If they're not making threes, they're going to they're gonna have tendencies to have a drought. I believe they were, well, I, I don't know what they were. We were two for 14 in the first half, and they were two for nine from three-point range. But we gave them minimal number of easy baskets, layups, offensive rebounds, wide open threes. And that, that, that would win. We did a nice job with how we guarded them. DJ said that in terms of trust and also confidence that he felt that um, your team, you know, like really raised that level quite a, a bit uh, tonight. Did you see that? Well, well? Help me with that again now. In terms of trust and confidence and uh, communication, he uh, he said that um, your team really kind of like raised that level. Like, um, did you see that as well as far as? I think that's well put. I mean, Air Force is a team that they speed cut, they have so many, so much movement, five people moving, mumbo jumbo on one side and real attack on the other side. And, and we did a nice job of communicating switches, knowing when we had the emergency switch, knowing when we should stay. I think that statement's well put. I think that uh, they, they did develop a trust level in one another that if something happened, somebody would be there to, to help them out. And they did. Coach, from a confidence standpoint, how important was it for you guys to have a steady performance tonight and not have to worry about a flat start when you, as you're heading into New Mexico at Albuquerque, like you said, tip to finish, it was a steady performance and you can just think about that now and not necessarily correct big mistakes. <laughs> it makes you feel a little bit better about yourself. The most important thing was to find a way to get a win. Uh, and Doing it in the fashion we did allows everyone, coaches included, to walk out of the locker room feeling good about how we prepared and then how we performed. So uh, we, we, we did what we needed to do.